The median nerve is a nerve in humans and other animals in the upper limb. It is one of the five main nerves originating from the brachial plexus. The median nerve is formed from contributions from the lateral and medial cords of the brachial plexus, originating from ventral roots of C5, C6 and C7 and C8 and T1. The median nerve is the only nerve that passes through the carpal tunnel. Carpal tunnel syndrome is the disability that results from the median nerve being pressed in the carpal tunnel. Structure After receiving inputs from both the lateral and medial cords of the brachial plexus, the median nerve enters the arm from axilla at the inferior margin of the tis major muscle. It then passes vertically down and courses with brachial artery on medial side of arm between biceps brachia and brachialis. At first lateral to the artery and lies anterior to the elbow joint. It then crosses anteriorly to run medial to the artery in the distal arm and into the cubital fossa. Inside the cubital fossa the median nerve passes medial to the brachial artery, in front of the point of insertion of the brachialis muscle and deep to the biceps. The median nerve gives off an articular branch in the upper arm as it passes the elbow joint. A branch to prunate it as may arise from the median nerve immediately proximal to the elbow joint. Forearm the median nerve arises from the cubital fossa and passes between the two heads of prunatators. It then travels between flexor digitorum superficialis and flexor digitorum profundus before emerging between flexor digitorum superficialis and flexor pollicis longus. The unbranched portion of the median nerve innervates muscles of superficial and intermediate groups of the anterior, flexor, compartment except flexor carpi ulnaris. The median nerve does give off two branches as it courses through the forearm, the anterior interosseous branch courses with the anterior interosseous artery and innervates all the muscles of the deep group of the anterior compartment of the forearm except the medial half of flexor digitorum profundus and flexor carpi ulnaris muscle. It ends with its innervation of prunator quadratus. The palmocutaneous branch of the median nerve arises at the distal part of the forearm. It supplies sensory innervation to the lateral aspect of the skin of the palm. Hand The median nerve enters the hand through the carpal tunnel, deep to the flexor retinaculum along with the tendons of flexor digitorum superficialis, flexor digitorum profundus, and flexor pollicis longus. From there it sends off several branches. 1. Recurrent branch to muscles of the thena compartment. Here it provides motor innervation to opponents pollicis abductor pollicis brevis and superficial part of flexor pollicis brevis. 2. Digital cutaneous branches to common palmar digital branch and proper palmar digital branch of the median nerve which supply the a. lateral three and a half digits on the palmar side, b. index, middle and ring finger on the sum of the hand. 3. The median nerve supplies motor innervation to the first and second lumbricals of the hand. Variation. There are multiple naturally occurring anomalies of the median nerve. Bifurcation of the median nerve typically occurs after the nerve exits the carpal tunnel. However, in a small percentage of individuals, the median nerve bifurcates more proximal in the carpal tunnel, wrist, or forearm. During gestation, a median artery that serves the hand retracts. However, in some individuals the median artery does not retract and follows the course next to the median nerve into the hand. Martin Gruber anastomoses can occur when branches of the median nerve cross over in the forearm and merge with the ulna nerve to innervate portions of the forehand. Riesch Kanner anastomoses can occur when there is connection between recurrent branch of the median nerve and deep branch of the ulna nerve of the hand. Function Arm the median nerve has no voluntary motor or cutaneous function in the brachium. It gives vascular branches to the wall of the brachial artery. These vascular branches carry sympathetic fibers. Forearm, it innervates all of the fluxes in the forearm except fluxor carpi ulnaris and that part of fluxor digitorum profundus that supplies the second and third digits. The latter two muscles are supplied by the ulnar nerve. The main portion of the median nerve supplies the following muscles, superficial group, prunatators, flexor carpi radialis, palmaris longus, intermediate group, flexor digitorum superficialis muscle, the anterior interosseous branch of the median nerve supplies the following muscles, deep group, flexor digitorum profundus, 
fluxopolysis longus, prunata quadratus, hand. In the hand, the median nerve supplies motor innervation to the first and second lumbrical muscles. It also supplies the muscles of the thenar eminence by a recurrent thenar branch. The rest of the intrinsic muscles of the hand are supplied by the ulnar nerve. The median nerve innervates the skin of the palmar side of the thumb, the index and middle finger, half the ring finger, and the nail bed of these fingers. The lateral part of the palm is supplied by the palmar cutaneous branch of the median nerve, which leaves the nerve proximal to the wrist creases. This palmar cutaneous branch travels in a separate fascial groove adjacent to the flexor carpi radialis and then superficial to the flexor retinaculum. It is therefore spared in carpal tunnel syndrome. The muscles of the hand supplied by the median nerve can be remembered using the mnemonic, loaf for lumbricals 1 and 2, opponens pollicis, abductor pollicis brevis and flexor pollicis brevis. Clinical Significance Injury Injury of median nerve at different levels causes different syndromes with varying motor and sensory deficits. Above the elbow, common mechanism of injury, a supracondylar fracture. Motor deficit, loss of pronation of forearm, weakness in flexion of the hand at the wrist, loss of flexion of radial half of digits and thumb, loss of abduction and opposition of thumb. Presence of an ape hand deformity when the hand is at rest due to an hyperextension of index finger and thumb, and an adducted thumb. Presence of benediction sign when attempting to form a fist, due to loss of flexion of radial half of digits. Sensory deficit, loss of sensation in lateral three or one half digits including their nail beds, and the thenar area. At the elbow, entrapment at the level of the elbow or the proximal forearm could be due to the prunator to syndrome. Within the proximal forearm, Anterior interosseous syndrome, injury to the anterior interosseous branch in the forearm causes the anterior interosseous syndrome. Common mechanisms, tight cast, forearm bone fracture, motor deficit, loss of pronation of forearm, loss of flexion of radial half of digits and thumb. Sensory deficit, none, at the wrist, common mechanism, wrist laceration, motor deficit, weakness in flexion of radial half of digits and thumb. Loss of abduction and opposition of thumb. Presence of an ape hand deformity when the hand is at rest, due to an hyperextension of index finger and thumb, and an adducted thumb. Presence of benediction sign when attempting to form a fist, due to weakness and flexion of radial half of digits. Sensory deficit, loss of sensation in lateral three or one half digits including their nail beds, and the thenar area. Within the wrist, carpal tunnel syndrome. Common mechanism, carpal tunnel syndrome, an injury by compression in the carpal tunnel, without transection of the median nerve, due to overuse by activities such as keyboard typing and cooking. Motor deficit, weakness in flexion of radial half of digits and thumb, weakness in abduction and opposition of thumb. Absence of an ape hand deformity or when attempting to form a fist, the benediction sign, due to compression of the median nerve as opposed to complete median nerve palsy. Sensory deficit, numbness and tingling in lateral three or one half digits including their nail beds but excluding the thenar eminence which is supplied by the superficial branch of the radial nerve. Unlike in wrist laceration, there is no loss of sensation in the area of the central palm, as the palmar cutaneous branch runs above the flexor retinaculum, and is not affected in compression in carpal tunnel syndrome. History Additional images. See also, this article uses anatomical terminology. For an overview, see anatomical terminology. References. This article incorporates text from a public domain edition of Gray's Anatomy. External links. Median nerve at the Duke University Health Systems Orthopedics Program, Median nerve at the U.S. National Library of Medicine Medical Subject Headings, Hand Kinesiology at the University of Kansas Medical Center, Atlas Image, Hand Plexus at the University of Michigan Health System Axilla, Dissection, Anterior View.